my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishy. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. And welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today's program is brought to you by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Artline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, The Guillotine by Rutfin, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commit Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Yes, we finally are on some ice ourselves. And you know what, we had to travel a little bit. We left at about two o'clock this morning. Hey, and I'll tell you what, we're with Justin from Wheezy Outdoors. And I'll tell you what, Justin, sorry buddy, I know we were supposed to be here, here at eight and it's 10 o'clock now, but you know, I'll tell you what, I didn't expect to run into all the, the snow that we ran into on oh, the road. Stuff just came last night. We got the, about three inches of fresh powder and. It's a little windy out here, chilly, but we got a cold snap coming tomorrow and it's gonna be- So the fun. fishing should really yeah. be good. Hey, tell everybody about what we're gonna be doing and tell them about your guide service. You know, I'll tell you what, all fall, I was watching all the pictures of all the bear that you guys were getting on your guide, your bear hunting guide service. Yeah, we had an excellent season on bear. We had eight the first day. Woo! I mean, out of 12 hunters, 10 of them got a bear. That's, that's pretty darn good, I'll tell you that. There's no complaint on that. Hey, you know what's a little bit weird here is that you know normally when we film with you, there's a beautiful lady here. Oh yeah, she's at uh, sales training this week. Down the Say, she so, needs yeah. training for sales? I'll tell oh, you what, yeah. she should be the one training the other salespeople because you know you know more than anything, she never shuts up. Oh, she, she's talk a talking she's machine. Around. So yeah, all the pressure's on you today because, right, or like you're saying, you're gonna finally get a couple words in this time, huh? Oh yeah. All hey, fine. so we're on a lake here today and we're gonna start off fishing crappies and this is basically just a crappie bluegill lake that we're gonna start with. Yeah. Okay, so tell everybody, you know, exactly what we're looking for, what we're doing here, you know, so if they wanna come out here and enjoy the same thing that we're gonna experience today yeah. so they know what they're getting themselves into for. Yeah, we're out here, it's uh, just a big flat basin out here. We're just looking for schools of fish. We drilled out lots of holes around here. We're just going around putting the vexlars down in. If they're stacked up, we're dropping the jigs down. These fish are hungry, so obviously they're just coming up and smacking it right now. Okay, so basically, are these fish, most of them gonna be suspended off the bottom, or are they gonna be tight to the bottom, or, or, or are they gonna be all over the water three column? Three to 10 feet off the bottom right now, and we're in 24 feet of water. Okay, that sounds real good, and size-wise, Right now we're running, most of them we're catching right now are a little bit smaller, but we're looking at 11s today. 11 inch? 10, 10's 11. Them are, them are nice eating crappies. And you know, like in Wisconsin, most of our lakes, it's 25 crappies you can keep, or 25 panfish in total. What is the limit on a body of water like this? We're at 10 fish here. Oh, I love to hear that. 10 is more than enough. You know what, when you have a limit of 10, it makes you a little bit different as far as the way you look at what you keep. You kind of want to be a little bit more selective, right? Yeah, and that keeps our, you know, panfish populations going good. We get some bigger fish that way. Okay. Hey, I'll tell you what. You know what? I can't believe you. You're actually not too bad on camera no. without your wife standing right here. Hey, I'll tell you. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens today up here in Minnesota. Fish and crappies just started off, and if we get enough time, we might do what? Tell everybody at we home. We might be after some walleyes in shallow water on a duck pond. Oh. Oh, on a duck pond? On a duck pond. Oh, that sounds good. I'll tell you what, stay tuned. Let's see what happens up here in Minnesota this week. On Larry Smith Outdoors. Oh, that's right. On Larry Smith Outdoors. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens this week on Larry Smith Outdoors. You know what, Dan? What would I do without you? You know what? Maybe it's that getting an hour and a half of sleep and driving, you know what? Uh, how many miles did we drive? drive? Uh, about 300 some. Oh, that's a piece of cake. Let's do some fishing.
Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco premium covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. got to do better than that. Yeah, know. You know, I know one thing, if Alice was here, she would have a pile of big ones here. You know that. I outfish her all the time. That's, if she was here, she would not, you would not say that. I know that for a fact. So tell me what you're doing. I see a lot of fish on the Vexlar here. They're all suspended here. Okay. I'm targeting the ones that are up the highest. So show us what's your bait and show us what's what are fish. Okay, this is the bait right here. And bottom is way over here. So are you saying that these are all these these are all fish too? Yeah, these are all fish down in here. Okay. And I got my bait that's moving right there. Okay. And these are fish right here too, yeah, huh? These okay. Are all fish in here. So let's walk tell me when one's coming up to your bait. I want to see what it looks like. Well, at least show everybody at home. Yeah, there okay, there he is, okay, right on it. Following it up. So you just keep pulling it away from huh? Yep. You're just you teasing, oh, you're teasing them, huh? Really fighting kind of light. You know, it's amazing on a, with a Vexlar, how it really teaches you how to fish these fish the proper way. You can tell what in, where they are in the water column, that's a huge thing. And the other part is you can tell how they react to your bait. You know, if they're not, if they're staying stationary, they're not moving up on it, you know you better change the te technique that you're using or change the color or go to bait, go to plastics. You know, again, it's just, you know, it teaches you what you need to do to catch more fish. Got one, Justin? Yeah. Coming up pretty easy, but oh, there we go. That looks like a better one. It's a decent fish. It's 10, 11 inch fish. There you go, Jarrett. There's one. Let's give this one a little bit yep. of a roller coaster ride up the hole. Looks good. Not a giant, but the ones we're looking for, perfect eating size, you know. There's a lot of small crappies in here, I can tell. And they're the little little marks that come up, but the bigger marks that kind of creep up are the ones that I'm targeting. So with that being said, I'm kind of playing keep away with the smaller marks and trying to get the, the, that makes a the lot creeper of sense. marks, yeah. Well, I tell you what, you got any wax worms on you? Yes, sir, I do. Don't give Lance any wax worms, right? Because we got to bet who catches more fish today. I didn't hear that. 
bet. What? What do you? What do you mean? What do you mean? You didn't What's hear the bet this week? Well, the bet's gonna be the revenge of the speak out game. Right? You saw what happened last week, didn't you? Well, does he know about this? Does he need to know everything? Oh. Nice crappie up in Minnesota here. Took a nice long ride this morning. Seven hours later, putting some eaters on the ice. Got to weed through the small ones, but. Something different, fun trip. Hey Lance. Yeah, Dan. Did Larry tell you about the bet? Uh, you've seen last week's show, I'm not doing that bet again. What? What are you talking about, Larry? Yeah, you hear him in the background. <laughs> Still on there, oh, there we go. Ah, nice eater. Nothing wrong with that. Houston, we have liftoff. Get ready for what's coming. I don't see him in the wind. I don't see him complaining about the wind. And you call yourself an outdoorsman? You know what? I don't see John Gillespie in the wind either. But I'm going to be out of the wind. Hey, it's kind of nice in here. Just a windbreak. And I really don't need it. The only reason I'm using it is I don't want Lance knowing how many I'm catching. Hey, catch, I can, you can only keep 10, so I'm being very selective. small ones out here today too but one out of every five is a nice eater we'll take it you see we're out here in the elements you zoom back there a ways you'll see where smith is at fish got kind of picky so dead stick has been working for me there you go Still not giants, but you know what? That's the most respectable eating fish that a uh, guy can take home for table fare. Honestly, you want to let the biggest ones go and uh, the smaller ones go. That's the perfect eating size palette for, for me anyway. So yeah, back to more dead sticking, I suppose. It seems to be working anyway. Whoa, lightning. All I needed was for you to come around that's the first time I've seen you in that shelter all day today. I see that. I've seen you out here for about 10 minutes figuring out to see what's going on. Well, I'll tell you what, Lance. You know what? Uh, you gave me that bait, and I was used to having that tungsten on there, and I was yeah. pretty much struggling with that. But uh, now I think I might have it down. But, you know, I was moving around from hole to hole, yeah. and uh, I just, uh, this is about the seventh, eighth hole I came to, and I saw quite a few fish, but these fish in this spot a little bit more, more aggressive, aggressive. Yep, coming up and bit. smacking it, huh? Yep. Good hey. deal. Oh, another half hour try for some of the walleyes. Walleye? Walleye. I love the sound of that. Hammered gold. Is there any hammered gold in Minnesota? Hey, I'll tell you what, Justin. We got plenty of crappies. We caught a bazillion small ones. You know what? I did not have the hot hand this morning at all. You know, you guys, you guys really cleaned house on me. Oh, yeah. You know, that's plenty of crappies to keep for a meal. Let's go and see if we can tackle some walleyes. So we got what about three, four hours before it gets dark? Yeah, about three hours before dark. Yeah. You know, we might want to leave Lance here because I don't think he'd want to go catch any walleyes. He'd probably rather just stay here and catch a few more crappies. So, but we can always come back down the road and pick them up. There you go, that works. Hey, stay tuned. Let's see what happens next on Leary Smith Outdoors. Gonna go try a little bit of walleye fishing when we're still here in Minnesota. Hey, Lance! Lance! Oh, not seeing anything. Oh, we'll leave him here.
Trophy Ice Fish, Green Bay's premier ice fishing guide service. Captain Lonnie Goldman specializes in trophy walleye and whitefish packages. Clients are shuttled out on six passenger Yamaha UTVs to heated ready to fish ice houses, perfect for family, friends, and corporate outings. Restrooms on the ice and their exclusive shore lunch make Trophy Ice Fish the top choice for your ice fishing fun and comfort on the Bay of Green Bay. Check out TrophyIceFish.com or call Barbara at 920-255-2617 to book your ice fishing adventure. At Jiffy, we break new ground. In fact, every decision we make revolves around it. The new Chevy 46 Extreme is 49 cc's of unmatched power with a fixed position propane system and over twice the efficiency for low end torque. Or go ninja with the Chevy 44 Pro, the lightest in its class, the best in power and portability inside and outside. The only ice augers built in the USA. Chevy, we put the world on ice. Vexilar, always innovating, never imitating. For nearly 60 years, Vexilar has been the innovator to help anglers catch more fish. The FLX sonar technology changed the flasher sonar world forever with the creation of the FLX 28. Now the FLX 12 features a brilliant display and easy to use two button control system. The FLX 20 is packed with features like zoom zones and a three color palette display. To learn more about FLX technology, visit Vexilar.com. The guillotine. The most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen. Programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rut Finn. I'll tell you what, if you're looking for a drill and you want to buy a drill and not buy another one for a long time, you want to check out this new Jiffy 46 Extreme. It is an absolutely dream drill. It's a propane auger and I'll tell you with the new transmission in it, it's effortless the way it cuts. Check it out. Got a good one going, you guys? Yeah. Boy, I just we just put that down there. There's a chub on there, big chub on there. there you go. Nice. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. That is absolutely awesome. I'll tell you what, you were right, a hundred percent, you guys. You know what? We caught plenty of crappies, so we decided to come over to another lake. And I'll tell you what, I got two really good guides with me today. I'll tell you, love that. Look at how beautiful that fish is. And I can't believe you told me to put that big chub on there. I put that chub on there. I've got just a tiny little gold trouble hook on there. Yeah, and that's our average size fish in this fishery right here. Wow. Now, what's the size limit on this lake? Is there a size limit? There's no size yeah, I got sure. Okay. He's a 24 incher. Woo. That wow. is a nice fish. Nice, easy release on him, too. Look at that. Just right. in the corner. Perfect. All right. Back down the hole. Send her back down. Thanks for the ride, buddy. Woo. I'll go get you another chub put on there. Just that tiny little gold trouble hook on there. Half down. Nice job. Hey, we just got here. We haven't even been here probably 15 minutes. We don't even have all the tip-ups in. And I don't eat. I got this, the grill going. I'm starving. <laughs> I'm going to go cook us some Burger Smoke House, the products. I got a surprise for these guys. They're going to love this. <laughs> Lance, you're always the cook. Yeah. Yes. He is the chef. He's the winter chef. That time of year. Yep. You know, someday we should have a winter chef cook-off. And I know another guy 
I think his oh, name is Shotgun, Shotgun Schaefer. Yeah. And the loser has to play a spell out. No, speak out. Speak out. Speak out. <laughs> I'm not putting a damn one of them things in my mouth again. Well, what happens if you don't, you can't all cook them? Then you're I can all cook them. I'll get the judges. <laughs> well, you're doing a pretty good job today, I'll tell you that, Lance. Chop, chop. Oh, look at those grill marks. Oh, oh that's pretty. Burgers, that ribs. pretty. <laughs> Boys, we are going to be eating like kings. Yep. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Holy moly. Rocky. This is fishing right here. Ice fishing at its finest. Mm. Come on, you guys. I just put that chub on there. Remember, I got that real tiny trouble hook on there, too. Got him? Good job. Walleye or perch? Yeah, no. It's a little bigger than a perch. Oh, walleye! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, nice save! That was absolutely awesome save. Wow, it's a good thing you got that heater going in that oh, in that yeah. clam shack there, I'll tell you that. Wow. Let that one go. And I yeah. just put that chub on there. Or sucker on there. Wow. Nice save. I'll go get you a bait. Jobs. That's a good fish, huh? Better than the last one, I hope. Maybe. Yeah. That's walleye. It is a walleye, yeah. huh? No, you just caught that small pike and you didn't oh, need to... hold on. There we go. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. You just caught that small pike and you just went to set that minnow back in there. It's got to be a little better walleye, huh? Yeah, it's a nice one. Should we take that line a little bit? Yep. Yeah. Fighting pretty good. There we go. There we go. Hold that up. Hey, there we go. Oh, I like the colors on what that. What a nice, too. beautiful, golden northern, northern Minnesota walleye there. <laughs> He is. <laughs> when they come out of this shallow water, it doesn't, I mean, you can't play them out. No, no. I know. It, it is amazing. And again, there's only two feet of water underneath the ice here and how these fish are just stacked up in here. And they don't come in real nosing it. It seems like they're, like I said, I was just setting it back down and there. And he just, and just, there it was, gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, what a great way to end the day. You know, catching a pile of crappies all day long. You know, of course, we got here late too because of the weather. Yeah. We didn't get to you guys till probably 10.30 in the morning. So, yeah, I mean, it's, uh, this is pretty nice, you know, I mean, and this is our first ice fishing trip of the year that we've been on. I mean, we've had so much wind at home that we haven't gotten anything to freeze up real good until the last couple days, so. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with you guys. Yeah, hey, I'll tell you what. Awesome. I'll go get you another minnow. Oh, all right, cool. Hey, and you know what? Another thing? You know why I'm gonna go get you another minnow? Because I need another one? No, well, that's one thing. <laughs> but the other thing is that your wife made absolutely awesome Christmas cookie. Oh, well, thank you. She'll be pleasant, oh, pleasant, pleasant to hear that. Christmas thank you, cookie. thank you. Now what do you got? I'll find out here. Ooh. Ooh. What do you got on that one for a bait? I got a, I think I put a fat head on this one. Come on, let's see a big perch. Why do I smell hair burning? Right? Do I smell hair burning? Right. <laughs> there we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, well, we gotta hold that one up. What a, a, again, what an awesome way to end a day. Our first day on the ice actually shooting the show today and crappie catching all morning long and now it's been walleyes and pike and perch. Not too shabby. No, it's a great day. Hey, you know, it's really, it's a shame that uh, Alice uh, had to work today, you know? And you actually got to say a few words this time. She missed out on a good one. She did. <laughs> <laughs> nice job.
<laughs> you made it! You want to walk? Oh, I'm fine. It's <laughs> a good thing I'm still a young guy. <laughs> that was oh, awesome. Man. Hey, I'll tell you what, Justin, we had just an absolutely awesome time. You put us on great crappies, came out here this afternoon, we caught a bunch of walleyes, caught some pike. Just an incredible day. You know what, just like last time we fished with you and Alice, we had a great time. And Eric, you know what? Thank you. Hey, thank you. And I'll tell you what, we will be back to fish with you real okay. soon. And we're not going to tell everybody what we're going to be doing. Okay. Lance, always Good always time, a pleasure right there. And hey, you know what? Since we had such a great time with you, and I'll tell you, I got a special treat from you. Here is a gift package from our good friends over at Mike's Country Meats. Look at that, you guys. Oh. You can take that home with you and enjoy it for the holidays. Now, oh. anybody that wants, they can order these. All they gotta do is call Mike's Country Meats up in Tigerton or go online and order, but that is, there's some sweet stuff in there. Well, that's gonna be hidden. I'm gonna give this to you, <laughs> right? And I'll tell you what, I got one more thing. You know what? We had some of the finest fish in here in Minnesota, but guess what? I've got something from you, the finest thing that comes out of Wisconsin. It's called, guess what? The Badger Sportsman magazine. It's the finest magazine in Wisconsin. And I'm gonna give each one of you, I'll give you one of them. Give you one of them. Thank you. Thank and you. you one Thank of you, them. sir. You know what? Again, what a great day. And you know, all I can really say to end this day, what a great day to be alive. Hey, and if anybody wants to get a hold of you, Justin, how can they do it? They can go on uh, wheezyoutdoors.com or look us up and actually phone number is 218. 402-0086 and we'll be happy to take you. Hey, make sure everybody checks our new website out and all of our social media avenues. And again, remember, what a great day to be alive. Larry, speak up a little bit. I can't quite hear you. You lost the bat now. Just... Hey, I don't think it's I don't think it's very fair that I got to lead the whole Vans of Sussman magazine, and you lost. You only had to lead three cards. Why do I got to lead the whole magazine? Quit your whining and start reading. Oh, come on! Ay, ay, ay. This, is, this can tell a lot of Pazuzzo. You need to use six times. This is going to be a long ride home. I really need it. Might relieve him of that bet shortly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.